Oh, right, so Falcon and Winter Soldier, episode three, right? Four? Three. That's episode three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we finally got to see some Zemo action. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Y'all liked his jacket. I like that uh, he's still very much in the business of killing anybody that has anything to do with super soldiers. Yeah, we got a brief glimpse of him in the mask as well. Just to, just to turn yeah, it just a little He put it on and then took it right off, basically. But it's kind of weird that the mask is, like, all formed when it's just sitting there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, kind of a weird little mask, but it looks good on him, but just sitting there, I don't know, there's something strange about it. Probably so it looked right when when he's wearing it. Yeah, but I feel like he could have just lied and just had, like, a different mask that... It's just flat. But regardless, fashion sense aside, although that was a really good jacket that uh, Falcon oh, had on as well. <laughs> but fashion aside, we'll save that for next week. Um, got a little bit a little bit more. We got Sharon Carter to, uh, today. Yeah. Uh, found out what she's been up to. Um, uh, apparently all the other Avengers who have just been pardoned, uh, she's not. They just forgot about her. They just forgot about her. Kind of. Kind of rude. Kind of rude. Kind of rude. Kind of rude on... on uh... Okay, I stand by this. Uh, Steve did everybody a little dirty, and especially... What is that? His niece or whatever? Yeah. He did well, her... No, not his niece. It's... Uh... It's... Sharon Carter's niece. Yeah, whatever it is. Did her dirty, too. Is all I'm saying. Yeah. Because... He just, he went and did his own selfish little thing, and then it's just like, ah, I don't care what happens no more. And, I don't know. <laughs> Joke's on you guys, I'm old now. <laughs> You're gonna anyway. change my diapers now. Anyway. But. <laughs> my laundry's ready. Anyway. Um, I mean, just kind of bad on everybody involved. That no Nobody, like, everyone just forgot about Sharon Carter. Like, oh, yeah. I wonder what she's up to. Ah, she's probably fine. Um, no, she's not. <laughs> um, presumably, by the end of this, it'll all be fixed, though. I don't know where she was... Wait, who was that that she was with at the end of that? Like, after the shootout and everything? I don't know. I don't know if we've seen that character before or not. No. Um, I wasn't familiar, but I'm obviously she's got some other things going At on. At first glance, I was like, oh, is that one of those Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. people I've heard no, so much about? No. But then I was like, nah. I would have been, been freaking out. I would have been freaking out if it was, yeah. Ah, if only. Yeah, that would, ugh, that would get me going crazy. Um, she hops into a van and just the entire crew of <laughs> huh, <laughs> Agents we're of S.H.I.E.L.D. We're the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hello. Formerly from ABC. <laughs> I am Phil Coulson. <laughs> Well, not the real Phil Coulson, but the, the reanimated Phil Coulson. You know, you'd have to watch the series to find out about it. I haven't. <laughs> you really should, though. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, what else did we... So we got the guy, we found the guy that I forgot his name already, but he recreated the Super Soldier Serum. Uh, and he's dead. Shot dead. Dead. Um, I don't know if... He's kind of a punk. Yeah. He, like, tried to... He's like, yeah, I'm a baller. I'm gonna try and, you know... Make some money moves here. And then the Winter Soldier shot around him, and he's like, okay. <laughs> I don't want to die. And then he died. I'm a little confused how they escaped that explosion. Yeah. It all I exploded, any... and they were like, we're fine. <laughs> Push the smoke out of the way. We're protagonists, right? <laughs> um, they were just a-okay. What do you feel about them working with Zemo? This is a bit very unclassic Zemo. I know oh, he's, he's still. Got a scheme. I know he's still got some stuff, but I just mean like as far as like, this is not your typical everyday, Zemo story, you know. Yeah. Uh, still no sword. Still no sword. <laughs> I wanted to have a sword so much. I wanted, yeah, just I wanted him to pull when he uh, got on top of the, the pull out a sword things. out yeah, of his pocket when he jumped. You know, he shot the thing and exploded, and then he went over there and just started beating him up and whatever. I really just I don't know. If, I wouldn't have cared like where it came from if he just like pulled from behind him. It's like where did they? I don't know. I don't know how he had had that, but I would have been fine if he just had a sword and impaled a man in the back. God, no, he's saving it for the super soldiers, Marco. He's going. He's gonna stab Carly. <laughs> 
I was a little nervous that it was about to be a very uh, PG fight. Um, when you started with Sharon Carter, and she pulled out the baton and was beating people yeah. up, and then she's like, nah, I'll murder him, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Started blasting through him, and then obviously... Threw a Zemo. knife into that guy's arm. Yeah. Ooh! Probably <laughs> maybe the, the best pipe. part of the episode, the pipe through the guy's arm from the Winter Soldier. That was pretty good. That was his metal arm, too, that he threw that with. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it had, it had strength. He could have threw it with his other arm. Probably chose, still would have went in his arm. It chose not to... But, um... I mean, I feel like this episode was just fairly a lot of exposition. Like, kind yeah. of almost entirely exposition. But it's episode three. Yeah. I mean, out of six, though. Out of six, yeah. I don't know. That's what, I don't feel like a, a ton really happened. That's kind of how I've been feeling about, like, after each of these episodes. They, they've kind of been... Mm. Although, the little twist at the end, though, didn't see that coming at all. Did you expect any Wakandan interference? Uh, yes, a little bit, you know, because... I never thought about they, it. They they brought it up. They kind of mentioned it at the beginning of the episode. It's like, could you imagine the Wakandans? They don't want them out of there, you know? Yeah, that's true. I thought that was just something they were doing more so to be like, hey, you remember this movie, right? <laughs> you know? But uh, I guess it was more than that, so... Um, do you think it's just that one person, or do you think there's going to be like a thousand of them pop up out of the sewers? I was half expecting like the Ninja Turtles. Uh, Black Panther. Like Chadwick? I was half expecting him. That would have been pretty uh, dope. I didn't know why that was filmed. It was a secret, like, thing, you know? Nah. I mean, that would have been crazy, sure. Yeah. But there was no way that was filmed. Yeah. Maybe that was the intention. Potentially. Mm. But then they had to do a substitute. Um, so this is going to be like a, a big wrench in the, the scheme of things, don't you think? Yeah. Sorry, guys. The uh, Winter Soldier's off fighting one of the Wakandans uh, while you guys got to do your mission. That, that should be interesting next episode. Yeah. They're probably... It's one of those situations. Oh, and you re- we really got to see, side note here, really get to see John Walker just be more of a jerk. Yeah. Just full brunt force of it. I'm kind of convinced that he was about to break out Zemo. <laughs> you know? Like, if Falcon uh, Winter Soldier didn't do it, then he probably would have. I feel like he's... M- yeah, I feel like he's more on a vendetta quest than... Like, actually worried about, like, oh, I gotta get Zemo locked up. He's just like, oh, I hate anything these two do because they wouldn't be my friends. <laughs> um, that just goes to show. Should have been the crazy man with the shield's friend. Yeah. He's gonna lose that shield soon, though. Oh, it's yeah. gotta be, right? He's gotta, he's gonna lose that we got all that footage of them throwing the shield into the tree and everything. Now we've got a hint in this episode that. Maybe Falcon's not going to be Captain America. He's probably going to be Captain America. But Bucky said that he would have yeah. wanted to. Yeah. And that was the thing in the comics for a short bit. Sam's still just not wanting to get with it. But This whole show is probably going to be his like coming to understand, eh, yeah, I guess i got to be Captain America. Do, do you think we're not going to get it until the very, very like, like last bit of the... The show? Like you, Most definitely, like, at least the last episode. I'm thinking, like, the very, very, like, last clip. Maybe, you know, there might be another... It could be the very last thing we see, or it could be we get that, and then, you know, like, another post credit scene after that or something, but... I'm really not expecting, at this point, to see much of it. Yeah. But... I could be wrong. We could... Who knows? Maybe Steve comes back. He's like, look, guys. I made a mess. <laughs> I'm here to clean it up. Him and Isaiah pop out of nowhere as the two <laughs> the two old geezers and start beating everybody up. 
We're starting our own Avengers for old people only. <laughs> the senior Avengers. <laughs> Hank Pym, get over here. <laughs> Oh, dude. Odin pops up. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> uh, it come back just just for this. Odin usually doesn't die. He just lies. <laughs> he's like, ah. In the in the Thor comic I'm reading right now, he's just chilling at a bar <laughs> while Thor's in trouble. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Um, and the Jane comic Foster. I'm reading right now. Odin gave. Uh, Thor and she Hulk an egg and they ate it and became giants. Jane Foster has to go to the, uh, the bar and beat him up and be like, look, your son's in trouble. And he's like, nah, he's all right. He's Thor. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, she had to slap some sense into him. But that's Odin for you. Not a great dad or person, really. But pretty cool, he though. He's is. got a good beard. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. I don't Back think to the show, this isn't anything to do with Winter Soldier. We're making a better show here. <laughs> the old... The, the senior Avengers. You've heard of the Avengers. young Avengers. <laughs> T'Chaka <laughs> comes back. Not as spry as he used to be. Yeah. Like, Guys, I'm, I'm not climbing that building. Yeah, all of them, <laughs> after they, uh, you know, whenever you get, like, thrown through a building or something, they all like, oh, you know, gonna have a moment to, like... They, they make their, the same joke spine. every time, and it's great. <laughs> They're like, I'm getting too old for this. Every episode. It'd be mm -hmm. great. Okay, let's pitch that to Marvel yeah. and see how quickly they ignore us. How quickly <laughs> they eject us from the premises. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so, like I said, not too much happened. You got any theories or anything for what's about to happen? Theoretically, some kind of Wakandan showdown. If it's, if, if it's one person or a bunch of people, I don't know yet. Could be some, some sneaky little Wakandans hiding in the... Like I said, the sewers. I don't know why they're Ninja Turtles now, but... What, what if the Ninja Turtles fight? Do you think there's going to be a big betrayal from Zemo? Or do you think he's just going to get set up to basically be free now and, and be doing something later? I hope this show is not the last we see of Zemo. I'm, I wouldn't I'm a fan so. of Zemo as a villain. I what? feel like he's got to have another big scheme later on. I want to see him in a Masters of Evil. Because yeah. Marvel's had pretty good... Uh, they've killed a lot of their villains. So he doesn't have a lot of villains to pull from <laughs> for a Masters of Evil. Uh, so if they did it... I don't know. They keep killing more they people. Killing a, lot more of people, people a lot of people died this episode. A lot of people died this episode. It's they. Uh, none of the heroes are like kill people. That's wrong. <laughs> kill yeah. people. Yeah, it's about right. <laughs> they shouldn't have been doing bad things, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I don't personally think that. Well, you know, this will be the last of Zemo. Who knows? Maybe he gets shot. You know, maybe they just <laughs> stick to the old tried and true uh, Marvel maybe format. Maybe stabs Carly Morgenthau. <laughs> Potentially. Potentially. Um, it's f funny, you felt a little bit sympathetic for, uh, you know, when that old lady was dying and, you know. Or, yeah. But then, <laughs> then she by the end of the people. episode, yeah, she bombs them. And then even the other dude's like, Yo, wait, what are you doing? On. We went from robbing a place to, like, I beat up a C, like a FBI, whatever uh, the other guy's name is. Um. Uh, Not Falcon yet. Uh. <laughs> I beat him up, but I didn't kill him. I, like, stomped on him a little bit. They didn't use full force. He ain't dead. Like, lady, hold up now. Yeah, she went straight to, uh... Murder. Terroristic attacks. Later. But, um... Yeah, so, uh... I feel like it's all terroristic. Yeah, it's just... Eh, it's a bit of a different degree, though. Regardless, yeah. Action... I I felt Violent like, action uh, based on... At, earlier on the episode, though, I was like, oh, maybe she's going to be redeemable and you know be able to turn around. And I was like, oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Marvel's good about... She's going to get shot. <laughs> Marvel's pretty good about early... Shooting their villains. Yeah, pretty good at that. <laughs> They're pretty good at... Uh, not even what I was going to say. This is all your fault. 
pretty good at not redeeming people? I don't know. In a way, yes. Uh, they're good at uh, making their villains like a little redeemable. It's like, yeah, you can kind of get why they're doing what they're doing. And then they go and blow up like a bunch blows. of tied up people. Yeah. Or they burn a purple herb. I'm also fa- like fairly confused and I feel like the terms are very vague on what they're doing. They're like, you had supplies for six months. I'm like, what supplies? What are we talking about here? <laughs> What's going on? You have like supply, like games and stuff? <laughs> well, medicine, probably, theoretically. I feel like all the terms are, are vague of what they're doing. Who are they helping? Who's in trouble? That's not an answer. It's not. Um, Are, am I the only one confused on that a little bit, or? I felt it was a little vague, but not so vague that I didn't like. It's like, yeah, supplies. They, they use, uh, I mean, they're setting them up to obvious, be like obvious, like government official. Well, like they're official, like set up to be like people. Robin Hood types, but it's yeah. like, who are they helping? I don't understand. Well, I assume the rest of the people back at the what's it called. What is a what's it called? The, the the refugee place where that lady died. No, I don't of know. like pneumonia, I think. It was I feel like they thing. haven't set that up. Was enough. it pneumonia? We got a little commercial at the beginning. What was it? The CDC? No, that's not it. What's it called? Uh, CGC. C G C. I was kind of hoping you didn't catch that. You just went, well, you just went, went through it. Went with it. Uh, it starts with the C, doesn't it? Um, the correctional. People are back facility. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, I'm not sure what that commercial really even gave to us more than what we, again, had already kind of figured out by vague context clues. Um, They're trying to help people. I, and uh, that's not so wrong. Why, why are they mad that people are back and, you know, they're like, oh, crap, you know, I don't have my job anymore or... My, you know, my, maybe my, my house anymore, family members are gone, this or that or whatever. It's like, I'm back now, and I need a little assistance. And they're like, no, you don't get assistance. We, we need assistance. Assistance only for me. Uh, they're bad because uh, Captain Ears is on their side. What does it have to do with anything I just said? Well, All right. me why well, they were bad, and... I couldn't really think of a good reason, but I know that uh, the guy we're not supposed to like is on their side. And yeah, fair, I don't like him. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about... What? The, the CGC, or whatever they're called. It, you said, why are, they supposed, why are we not supposed to like them? No, the people that blip back, that need help. Oh, okay? Well, I'm just confused what you're talking about now. Okay, so you're talking about the... the, the we're just going to call them CGC, because I don't know yeah, what they're called. Yeah, I can't remember the The column. CGC... <laughs> all right. Okay, the CGC, uh, they help... Uh, are helping people that blip back. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't understand why the flags... help anyone out. I don't understand why the flag smashers are so mad about it. That's what I'm saying. Were they the people that they beat up and blew up? No, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's all so vague. The people well, okay. that they blew up had some kind of supplies that they were storing I'm, for some unknown reason. I'm very tired. and I'm aware. Vaguely remember both uh, the uniforms of the CGC and the guy that got blown up. Were they the same? I have no if idea. If they were the same... I mean, maybe, but that... Then yeah. That doesn't... That like, makes sense. I need more explanation than that. I, You can't just... Be like, ah, oh, they're wearing the same uniform. Surely they'll, they'll figure it out, you know. I'm, I'm stupid, you know. <laughs> I, need, I need an explanation. It's stupid, and it's 4.30. But that's what I'm saying. I just don't understand why the Flag Smashers are so mad at other people getting help. Doesn't make any sense to me. But since your brain is devolving into incoherent speech patterns, that's going to be the end of the video. If, for whatever reason, you enjoyed our conversation, leave me a like. I'd appreciate it. Possibly subscribe as well. We will be doing Write a haul a video for, uh, for <laughs> the Senior Avengers. Senior Avengers. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, we we, won't, we won't, might we do a. We don't have money. <laughs> we might do a uh, a crudely drawn crown drawing You'll animation. You'll get the pet Oreo. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll be on here Sunday with a haul video. 
I'll be back Keep Monday there. with uh, some new hot comics and some other things later on in the week. Hot comics. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Tell us your theories below. <sighs> Ha, 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 ha.